The world as we know it is changing, evolving, and adapting. In the midst of the climate crisis, a developing misunderstanding of wildlife and the growing harm companies and consumption are putting onto the world, there is an increased need to know of and be aware of how these changes are impacting our wildlife. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent discoveries. Dolphin Reproduction Hurt by BP Oil Spill Back in 2010, BP saw an oil spill, creating a severe impact upon the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Known as the Deepwater Horizon Oil Spill, this spill happened when an influx of natural gas burst a concrete core that had recently been installed in an attempt to seal an oil well. The gas rose, eventually igniting, taking the lives of 11 workers and injuring a further 17, and pushing more than 130 million gallons of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. The effects of this tragedy are long-lasting, and it has earned itself the devastating title as being the largest marine oil spill in history. Now, however, research seems to indicate that this could be impacting wildlife in ways we had not anticipated. 2015 research first suggested the correlation, when it was found that dolphins living in a Louisiana bay had suffered at the hands of the oil spill, and were having more complications giving birth than would have been seen prior. This was a government-run study, which involved a team of scientists tracking the health of a group of common bottlenose dolphins in the Barataria Bay, located just off the coast of Louisiana. It appears that the bay became covered in heavy slicks, a film floating on the water's surface which could have been playing a role in their complicated pregnancies. The team in question kept an eye on 10 dolphins that were expecting over the course of four years. Of these 10 pregnant dolphins, only two eventually gave birth to their calves. Not only has the reproduction of the species suffered, but the health implications of this spill could also have spread significantly further. Researchers have observed a number of illnesses, such as lung disease, alongside other abnormalities, that have been known to have associations with an exposure to oil contamination. Following these staggering observations, particularly with regard to their respiratory and reproductive health, the health and well-being of dolphins has become a topic of significantly greater interest, both in prioritizing their safety and assessing the true extent of the damage of the 2010 oil spill. A 2011 study, conducted approximately one year after the spill, stopped leaking, tagged 32 dolphins. The findings of both these studies seem to point to a significantly higher mortality rate, accompanied by an increase in the development of chronic diseases, which in conjunction have seemingly harmed the reproductive processes of the local dolphins. The lead researcher of the study, Laurie Schwack, a wild epidemiologist with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, commented that this dolphin population, alongside others and whale populations that might have been impacted by the oil spill, will take a truly significant length of time to recover. It has been estimated that 35% of the estimated 2,300 dolphins living in the affected area lost their lives as a result of swimming the waters impacted by the spill. Others have suggested that focusing purely on the spill does a disservice to the ocean life. Feeding wild dolphins can hurt them Plenty of holiday destinations showcase feeding dolphins and we see heartwarming moments on the big screen developed from feeding a group of animals, whether it is a local woodland creature or the swimming with dolphin events themselves. It's important to note that this might not be in the best interest of the species. While you might feel as though you are living your Disney princess dreams, trying to befriend the wildlife, you would really be doing them more harm than good. These creatures are more than able to source their own food. It's well known that dolphins are highly intelligent creatures, with many considering them to be second only to us humans. But this means that they are excellent at learning patterns and forming habitual behaviors. Essentially, if you feed a dolphin once, it is likely to learn it can easily gain food from humans in the future too. This can spiral into a far more severe problem somewhat rapidly. When dolphins learn to rely on food from humans, it can often encourage them to approach boats and people fishing with significantly less caution, leading to an increased risk of them becoming stuck in fishing gear, taking bait that is attached to hooks, 
or being harmed by the propellers or other mechanics in boats. What is a little more specific to dolphins is the social component. Their living in pods and communicative nature means that they often teach different behaviours to the rest of their groups at a rapid pace. If one dolphin learns of the possible benefits to begging, there is highly likely chance that this same information will be passed on to other members of the group, spreading the negative impact so much further than one individual. One 2017 study even reported that dolphins were actively seeking out human-sourced food. They found that from a data set of 1,142 bottlenose dolphins in Sarasota Bay, 16.5% had learned to take handouts from humans and that 7.5% had acquired injuries related to the human activity happening throughout the area. What's even more alarming is that a subset comprised of just a few pods within these groups saw as high as 43.7% being conditioned to accept and seek food from people and 20% had injuries from human activities. Of those that were injured, more than a third didn't make it. These statistics, whilst blunt and harsh, force into perspective just how dangerous it can be to neglect to consider the long-term safety of these animals we may be all too excited to see. The mystery of why more and more whales and dolphins are being stranded on Britain's beaches from the years 2011 to 2017, it was reported that nearly 5,000 whales, dolphins and harbour porpoises were found stranded on British beaches alone. This, as of 2019, is a 15% increase than that of previously studied periods. It's important for the sake of these species that we turn our attention to just why this mass issue may be arising. A lot of these creatures spend most of their time lurking rather deep into the waters, which means it can be difficult to assess just how damaging these losses are to the populations as a whole. The limited numbers of orcas in the West Coast community living in the waters near Scotland mean that the loss of even one member of the pod would have drastic repercussions for the group. Some of these stranded souls were safely returned to water, though for some, human interference is what led to their suffering in the first place, and sadly could not be saved. Some were tangled in nets and fishing lines, some were hit by passing ships, all of which are easily identifiable causes that ended their lives. Other common explanations include becoming beached when they are suffering illnesses, some of which are inflicted by parasites, an insufficient food supply or even human pollution. Adding even more to the upsettingly high numbers of animals becoming stuck on these beaches is their social nature. Some experts who have studied these cetaceans believe that whales and dolphins often accompany members of their pods who may have fallen ill and, not wanting to leave their side, become stranded on the shore right there beside them. There are lots of explanations and theories that may plausibly account for this tragic phenomenon. While their instinctive behaviours are, of course, out of our control, reducing our contributions to pollution and being mindful of cetaceans when fishing are all necessary steps we can begin to take. But what are your thoughts on our oceans and the creatures we share our world with? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.